Hey guys, if you use Ibis Paint, you've definitely seen this little icon right here, Vector. And if you've ever tapped it, you probably saw this message and thought, uh, what the heck is a vector layer? Yeah, same. That was literally me. But because I'm a professional procrastinator, I ignored it for months. Also, it needs a paid plan, so yeah, that was my excuse. But one day, curiosity won, and I was like, all right, fine. Let's see what this mysterious vector thing actually does. So here we are, figuring out what a vector layer is and how to use it without losing your mind. First things first, to use a vector, you need vector brushes. Tap here, scroll a bit, or go to the search bar and find the ones labeled vector. As soon as you draw with one, Ibis Paint automatically makes a vector layer. You can spot it by this tiny icon, like a little badge saying, I'm fancy now. Now grab the vector tool and tap your line. Boom, a bunch of options appear. You can change the color, the thickness, even the brush style. So you can always change your mind with a vector. Then there's this other button. This one lets you mess with the vertices, those tiny dots that define your line's shape. Think of it like this. Your line is just a bunch of math points connected by an equation. So when you move the vertices, you're literally bending math to your will. And the best part? You can zoom in or out as much as you want, and it never gets blurry. Let's try it with a quick side-by-side -side comparison. First, I'll draw a line on a normal layer, and then another one on a vector layer. I'll try to make them look as similar as possible. Now let's zoom out and scale them up. The vector line doesn't change its thickness, so I'll adjust it manually to match the normal one. And boom, look at that. The difference is insane. Now let's get back to our line. What about editing the vertices? Usually there are a lot of them, but you can clean things up. Just tap one and hit delete. or use Simplify to remove a bunch at once. If you click here, you can even change the curve's angle around a vertex. And here's the fun part. If you like math even just a little, imagine this. It's like you're changing the derivative of the curve. Basically, you're shaping how the line bends and moves, almost like you're the one writing its math equation. Pretty cool, right? You can also change type of vertex, making them angular or smooth. And another very important tip, don't use the eraser. Using the eraser will make your life 10 times harder. Trust me, don't do it. If you mess up, just move or delete the vertices. So now that we learned this, what can we do? Well, vector layers are awesome for tracing. This was my first time trying it. And yeah, it's weird at first, but once you get the hang of it, it gets easier and the clean lines are super satisfying. Don't stress about drawing the perfect line. You are using vectors. So just make rough lines and fix them later by moving the vertices. When I finished tracing, I started coloring. But here's the thing, don't color like usual. It gets messy real fast, just like it did using the eraser. So how can we do it? Use this tool. It lets you make a shape that automatically fills with your chosen color. And yes, you can still adjust the vertices after that.
You can also add vertices if you feel like you are missing some of them to adapt better your line. So I just went like that, and unfortunately you can't use bucket tool in the vector layer, so it took a lot of time to color everything. But if you need to maintain the high quality of the image, it can be still worth it. Also, I think I prefer it when coloring the eyes. Now another sad news, you can't use the blur tool on vector layers. I know, tragic. But you can still fake it, or at least I tried. I just create a normal layer on top and use the airbrush to get that soft, dreamy blur. Honestly, chef's kiss. I also realized way too late that you can use the airbrush also in the vector layer. But yeah, maybe for the next time. If you found this helpful, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and tell me in the comments if you've ever tried it or you ignored it for months like me.